beauty ears and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Pamela and I put out to beauty related videos on Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays sometimes Saturdays I am again so sorry about Thursday's video I was feeling super duper sick it was one of those weird like 24 hour like flu things or bug things or whatever where I just was feeling like the aches the chills it was so like random and so like unexpected I don't know why why but the video that went up Friday was pre-recorded so that's why I didn't mention anything in that video but, uh, you guys don't care about that you're here to see hopefully you're here to see what I got in my ipsy bag this month and um, I kind of already know what's in it which is kind of like disappointing now and I told myself that from here on out I'm not gonna look at the spoilers I'm not gonna peek into my bag or anything like that I want to be like surprised every single month I want it to feel like Christmas but other parts of my makeup are not done because I am going to put on whatever is in this little bag here and let's just rip her open and get into this this theme is snow globe and it's super cute it's got some stuff written on the back on it and some fancy schmancy famous influencers the back is super duper cute it's got that like uh, frozen vibe to it or whatever. It's like sparkly and it's got this like teal on it and so oh oh loose glitter. Oh I didn't realize that. That is this part right here is loose glitter. Not not my cup of tea. Uh, first thing I pulled out was this Seraphine Botanicals Orange and Cream Lip Polish. And I love lip scrubs and I am always down for one. So oh it's sealed really nicely. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. I might need a knife for this. Here we go. Ooh, it does smell kind of like a creamsicle and it's very, very soft and, you know, not as rough as I expected. Can I eat it? Oh gosh, it tastes bad. You don't wanna eat that. Mm -mm. Not as tasty as I thought. It definitely tastes like one of those synthetic, like, orangey-like types of things. Next thing in my bag, I ha see here, ooh, this is a good size. Like from what I saw in the like sneak peek or whatever, it looked very small, but this looks like a legit lipstick size. That's nice. And this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Ipsy Unzipped and ooh, it smells like a cross between a cupcake and a chemically smell. <laughs> divine but let's go ahead and apply this now that my lips have been pretty much like prepped for this mm, this isn't really like a color that I would ever gravitate towards I don't own anything in this color um, not my favorite but the formula feels really really nice the next thing in my bag is this ooh trusty mini brow pencil in the shade espresso and yeah yeah that is my jam so i don't have eyebrows on quite yet i figured since i was getting this product i'd go ahead and try it on camera for you is it doing anything oh wow yeah in the viewfinder you can see it i don't know why i can't see it in person <laughs> So it's definitely not bad. It's a really good color. As you can see, this is the brow with the brow product in it, and this is the one without it. Um, I will say I always do my brows before I do my foundation, um, so I'm having a little bit of a like hard time getting, the, getting them to look a little bit more on the natural side. So I'll have to try this product out before I put on my foundation next time. Um, but overall, it's a great color match, and the only thing is um, the size does kind of like bother me. Like I wish it were it's a little bit longer but I mean it is a sample so you can't really complain and I'm curious to see oh you get a decent amount of product so you know maybe like a month or two's worth of you know eyebrow product but I'm gonna continue right. the next product I've got in here is another Lisa Frank um, with glamour dolls like collaboration if you watched my last month's unboxing or uh, review video I love that Lisa Frank bronzer like that bronzer is pretty much the best bronzer I think I've used so far it's like the same type of packaging it's purple it's got the xoxo lisa frank on it and this is in ooh this beautiful beautiful shade it's called stargazing and i know that there was this shade and then like an orange shade but i was so hoping for this one and i did get this one so i am going to apply this with the brush first and if it doesn't work with the brush then i will try with my finger 
oh yeah I knew I was gonna like this color and the size of this pan is huge it's so big do I have something to compare it to it's almost like the same it's just a little bit smaller than like a sample size tart blush which I think is amazing pretty sure that that is a full size like eyeshadow already I'm gonna go in with my finger though just to intensify it and oh, it feels so buttery and so smooth Oh yes, that is right up my alley. I love these shimmering golds. All right, and the last thing in my bag here is this Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner in the shade of Fishnet, which looks like basically a black liner. And just want to swan. Oh, oh, that is buttery. That is buttery and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line a little bit and then apply a little bit into the waterline and then smoke it out with my bronzer here just to see um, you know, how, how much time I've got to like basically play with it. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's a black liner and uh, black liners are gonna do what black liners do. Put on some mascara and then we'll be right back to kind of review what I've got in my bag this month. All right, so my final take on this bag was that it was just not as good as last month's bag. I think that last month's bag was just like the best like first bag of Ipsy or whatever for me to receive because I just got a lot of stuff that I absolutely love and that I'm still using. This month, unfortunately, like only two out of the five things I know I'm really really gonna use um, or get some use of and you know for sure I know that I'm going to be using things like this gel liner um, I was sitting here um, sort of doing this with the swatch that I did earlier and it's just not coming off and I really like that because there aren't very many um, like drugstore or affordable gel liners that will do that and then of course I absolutely love the glamour dolls collab with Lisa Frank right now like I said the bronzer I use every single day and I just love the this shade in eyeshadow is just like a perfect everyday shade because that just didn't quite do it for me where you know this this brow product although you could see it in my brows you know I just don't understand maybe it's one of those weird magical things because I'm sitting here like like swatching it and just nothing comes off like I'm I'm very very weirded out by that because it definitely looks like my eyebrows got you know filled in today. I'll continue to use it, continue to play with it. I'm thinking I'm going to have that replace my brow product just so that I can use it um, and finish it instead of having to throw it away. This Seraphine Botanicals Orange and Cream Lip Polish was not as great as I thought it was going to be. I like a really like kind of a rough like scrub for my lips. Um, this is a very like soft and gentle one. If you're into those kinds of scrubs and you'll probably like this scrub, but for me, just not my thing. And then the last product that I'm so sad because I really like this formula. Like it's one of those long lasting ones. It does transfer, but the, it feels nice. Like it feels really nice on the lips. Um, my lips don't feel dry or cracked or crusty or anything like that, but I just don't like the color. Like I'm keep looking at myself in the viewfinder thinking, girl, that color just looks so horrible on you. And, um, and then the bag, I'm gonna be one of those people that say they don't like the bag. And the only reason why I don't like the bag is because the glitter just falls out and uh, it's just so annoying. There's glitter everywhere. I hate the glitter. And that's all I got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed my little Ipsy unpacking slash try on. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.